global phase three trial in adjuvant setting comparing atezolizumab plus bevacizumab versus active surveillance. The primary endpoint was the recurrence free survival after resection or ablation. This is a Embrave 050 study included patients who received resection or ablation with a curative intent. And those patients had a high risk feature of uh, recurrence. And those patients were randomized one to one to uh, atezolizumab plus bevacizumab treatment or active surveillance group, which is a current standard of care. So no standard of care was exist in adjuvant setting. And treatment, atezolizumab plus bevacizumab was continued for 12 months or 17 cycles until disease recurrence or unacceptable toxicity. And the primary endpoint was recurrence-free survival, assessed by an independent review facility. And also, the patient reported outcome was measured. This is very important for this adjuvant setting. The result was positive. The Imbrev 050 trial met its primary endpoint of improvement of an independent review facility, assessed recurrence-free survival, with a hazard ratio of 0.72 and the uh, p-value of uh, 0.012. This result was met in a pre-specified first interim analysis. So the median recurrence-free survival was not reached in both arms. 12 months recurrence-free survival rate is high in treatment arms, 78% uh, versus 65% uh, in surveillance arm. So this is a positive result. Toxicity is uh, manageable, and the most importantly, patient reported outcome. That measures by using the URTC QRQ C30 uh, reduced version, and uh, measured uh, five domains that the health related quality of life and four functioning the role functioning, physical functioning, and emotional functioning, and the social functioning. And those quality of life uh, measure was not deteriorated from the baseline to uh, 17 cycle. That is very important finding in the adjuvant setting because uh, there is those patients do not have uh, cancer. So this is a uh, adjuvant and uh, suppress the recurrence. So this PLO, patient report outcome data was very good. This is the first positive trial that met the primary endpoint of improvement of recurrence risk survival. So atezolizumab plus bevacizumab will be the standard of care for patients with uh, ACC who received resection or ablation with curative intent. Hepatocellular carcinoma, ACC, is known to be a very frequently recurs. So around 80% recurrence at the four, five years after resection ablation. So this is very important uh, results, and so th this should be a standard of care.